Wow. So day two of the Republican National Convention was a sight to behold, uh, as unhinged as ever. Here's a MAGA Republican governor from West Virginia, Jim Justice, saying that if they don't win the election, they're going to get even more unhinged. This is actually part of the speech that they're giving here. Play this clip. Bottom line to every single thing that's going on in this great country today is one thing. We become totally unhinged if Donald Trump is not elected in November. And just so you see who's attending this event, here's one of the uh, cult members, or I should say uh, attendees, wearing the Trump-like bandage thing on his ear. Just watch his explanation here. Here, play this clip. We're tracking all sorts of things, among other things, the fashion of the delegates. And I want to point out uh, the latest trend that we spotted. This is Joe Neglia from Hello. Tempe, Arizona. Tempe, Arizona. This is your first convention? Oh, well, the first one I attended. I was elected in 2022, but that one was canceled because of COVID. And I noticed what you're wearing on your right ear. This is the newest fashion trend. I'm getting this going. Everybody in the world is going to be wearing these pretty soon. It's the latest thing. My wife calls me, I, tells me I dress like an engineer, but I'm setting new fashion ground here. So. And you just made this in your hotel room today with an envelope or what? No, I folded it up on the way on the bus on the way here. Okay. Joe, thank you for that. Then you had a reality star, Savannah Chrisley, speaking and framing her family as a victim of a politicized prosecution at the RNC, as Greg Bluestein puts it. Her parents were convicted in 2022 on federal fraud and tax evasion charges, but she brings up Fulton County uh, to get easy jeers from the crowd to try to link that. We're all criminals now in the RNC. <laughs> That's basically the speech. Here, play this clip. I'll never forget what the prosecutor said in the most heavily Democrat county in the state before an Obama appointed judge. He called us the Trumps of the South. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's fun. He meant it as an insult, but let me tell you, boy, do I wear it as a badge of honor. Speaking of which, then you had Kevin McCarthy give an interview on the floor calling Matt Gates a pedo. Play this clip. One who's not coming speaking? back. What and then and then the other Are part you that you have, and the other part you have is one person who raised no. the issue. He's got an ethics complaint about paying, hey, sleeping with a 17 year old. That stage, so that's the way they would go. Off, so the, you that's, that's the biggest the challenge we have. Then you had Matt Gates yelling at Kevin McCarthy. Speaking. What night are you speaking? Are you speaking tonight? Or one person no. Hey, you're not. If you took that stage, you would get booed off. Of, you would get booed off the stage. Then you had this other dude challenging uh, Matt Gates to basically a fight or telling Matt Gates to stand down and curse at him. Play this clip. You would get booed off the stage. Shut up, Gates. Yeah. Hey, 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 man. Dude, I don't even know who you are. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, I'm just but yep, folks, the theme is unity. That's what the corporate media wants to tell it. This is all perfectly normal stuff that this is that this is unity. Here is MAGA Republican senator from Florida to uh, invoke the fifth hundreds of times and settled the largest Medicare fraud case in history when he was running the company. Yet another fraudster uh, there. I mean, here he's basically calling for a dictatorship and saying that we need Donald Trump in the White House every single day. Here, play this clip. I've known Donald since before each of us ran for office, and it's an honor to be here to do everything I can to get him reelected back in the White House where he should belong every day going forward. Now, here's MAGA Republican Carrie Lake, who uh, lost in her race for governor, and now she's running for Senate in Arizona. Here she is uh, attacking the media, says the media fawns over Donald Trump and provides this propaganda platform. You're like, please attack us. We love to be called fake news. That's it's so embarrassing. Um, like literally, uh, the first thing with Project 2025, the media, they're going to shut down the media, yet the media is like, nope, we're going to get our tax cuts. No, you're not. You're going to get shut down. What do you think he's going to? He said he's going to shut you down. 
Here's what Carrie Lake has to say. Play this clip. Oh, this, this is MAGA energy tonight, guys. Love it. Oh, wow. This room, America, I wish you were in this room with us. This is electric. Hello, America. Welcome, everybody who's watching at home. And welcome, everybody, in this great arena tonight. We love you all. Actually, actually, wait a minute. I don't mean that. I don't welcome everybody in this meeting, you, in this room. The guys up in the fake news, frankly... <laughs> All right, frankly, uh, you guys up there in the fake news have worn out your welcome, right? You've worn it out, guys. You have spent the last eight years lying about President Donald Trump and his, and his amazing patriotic supporters. Actually, guys, they lie about everything. Growing up, cereal is one of the best parts of being a kid, but as I got older, I had to watch out for sugar and empty carbs. Magic Spoon has the amazing flavors you love, but high protein and less sugar. Like with the variety pack, four flavors are cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. This pack has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and four to five grams of net carbs. Only 140 calories a serving. It's high protein, has zero grams of sugar, Keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, and soy free. I'm a sucker for the cocoa cereal personally. And when I have my magic spoon, I always know it's going to be high quality, fresh, crunchy. And you got to love that chocolate milk the cereal makes when you're done with your bowl. Go to magicspoon.com slash Midas to grab a variety pack and try it today. Be sure to use our promo code Midas at checkout to save $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember, start your day off right with a delicious bowl of high protein cereal at magicspoon.com slash Midas and use the code Midas, that's M-E-I-D-A-S, to save $5 off. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring this episode. By the way, as I was watching this, I have so many friends overseas and I'm getting messages like this. What is the RN? This is what I've gotten like dozens of messages over and over again like this. What's the RNC? I refuse to believe this is the reality of our world. And it's not the fact that there are a few psychos that believe what they are saying, but there are actually millions of Americans who support this stuff. I, I can't, this can't be real. This is for sure a dream. Like I've gotten so many uh, comments like that. Look, no, there's 30 to 35% of America is that. And now there's 65% of America that's pro-democracy. Um, but a lot of the 65%, they're feeling down. They're attacking each other. It's like, what are you doing? Stand up for, for your rights and stand up for your democracy. Quit whining and let's support our democracy. Let's go. Just like all of you who watch this, you're the Midas Mighty. You stand proud and save our democracy and fight for our democracy every day. And it's like, like when we're all looking at like what some of these people are doing and what the corporate media is doing, we're like, what in the world is going on there? Anyway, here is MAGA Mike Johnson as he's giving his speech uh, and he uh, helps lead a, a chant of fight, fight, fight. Here, play this clip. As President Trump raised his fist and gave a rally cry on Saturday, now is our time to fight, and we will. And here's MAGA Republican Senator Marco Rubio, who's there also as the chant of fight, fight, fight breaks out. Then you had an individual MAGA Republican running for senator of Montana, Tim Sheehy, who uh, makes a joke about pronouns because that's that's they find funny in, in the MAGA Republican crew. Play this clip. Hey, everybody. My name is Tim Sheehy. Those are also my pronouns.
I've been a he/she for 38 years, and uh, I can promise you, going to elementary school with that name in the 80s was not fun. You then have MAGA Republican Congressman Steve Scalise uh, talk about the Great Replacement theory, xenophobic, racist tropes. Here, play this clip. On voting, our most sacred right as citizens, voting. Biden and Harris want illegals to vote now that they've opened up the border. Republicans will repass the SAVE Act to block illegal aliens from voting in our elections. And then you have Nikki Haley in a crass, callous political calculation, um, just uh, removing any semblance of dignity. And she gave a speech endorsing Donald Trump after Donald Trump mocked her, called her horrific names, misogynistic stuff. But, you know, for these MAGA Republicans, it's all about power. It's all about control and it's all about power. Um, and watch as she uh, gives Donald Trump her endorsement on stage. Just watch, just even watch Donald. The whole thing is so bizarre. Play this clip. I'll start by making one thing perfectly clear. Donald Trump has my strong endorsement, period. I know a lot of Nikki Haley supporters are feeling very betrayed right now. Look, they don't want to support someone who was found liable of sexual assault, who's on Epstein's list, who says Jeffrey Epstein is a great guy who likes women on the younger side, who's on videotape bragging, as Donald Trump is, about inspecting uh, naked girls without their consent at his beauty pageants or about uh, his fantasizing about having sex with women who uh, suffer mental illness because he claims that makes them better in bed or uh, or bragging about sexually assaulting women on camera. Um, you know, they, 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 that's, he's a real, this is a real disgusting human being. And the fact that this whole thing, this whole farce of an RNC with felons and fake electors and like it's literally a gathering of criminals. And the fact that the corporate media is normalizing this event, fraudsters, con artists, crooks, criminals, sexual assaulters, and acting like this is normal, it's important that we call out what's taking place here. And we will every single day on the Midas Touch Network. Here's Rudy Giuliani falling over himself as he was walking to the stage. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million together. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.